When dawn breaks, you normally find sprinter Violet and middle distance specialist Casta out on a morning run. But for once, they could lie in and listen to the sea. When they did wake, wetsuits were arranged, a rubber duck was standing by, and these athletes were going to find their sea legs. You had a nice relaxing first day, some spa treatments, a yeah. nice dinner. Today is more activities. Are you ready for some nice activities yeah. today? Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited, you know, like snorkeling. Yeah? Yeah. You've only recently kind of started to get outdoors and you want to explore yeah. islands and is this the kind of thing you're going to do to, as, as a couple to get out there and experience things? Yeah, yeah because we used to be indoors, so we just told ourselves, you know what, let's try another thing just yeah. to visit islands like maybe twice a year or once a year so yeah. this is the second one yeah but you're scared of water you got to visit <laughs> islands you better get used to the water as right? long as i'm in the water <laughs> it's fine they call these ocean safaris and a highlight is when you come across a pod of bottlenose dolphins Diving with these sociable, curious, smart mammals requires a special license and a maximum of eight guests are allowed to do this at a time. Watching golf, rugby or Formula One on TV is something Casta enjoys, but getting out and this close to nature is a thrill which she and Violet are looking to share far more often. How amazing is yeah. that experience, man? Yeah, man it's with the dolphins. That's uh, living life, right? Yeah, man, it's a dream come true, you know, swimming with the dolphins, you know, being able to see the turtles. Uh, this is just amazing, man. Uh, can't wait to do it again. Um, you know that she can't swim, which is amazing. Yeah, like, of course. No fear, there with a the life jacket, in the waves, the dolphins are right yeah, there. I'm a soldier, man. <laughs> I, I like challenges, so yeah. as long as I'm not going to drown, so why can I take a risk? <laughs> <laughs> but there's an amazing connection that happens with the dolphins, eh? when you just lock eyes with them. Yeah, yeah. but I was, I was quite surprised, you know, they, they go under your, your, your stomach, you know, yeah. they look into your eyes, it's like you're me and Violet, you know. <laughs> 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 Violet knows her longtime friend and spouse as a fan of all sports. Casta initially began running as training for her soccer. The nominee for Laureus World Sportswoman of the Year is game for trying her hand at everything. This is what life's all about, right? You're ticking yeah. off these bucket list items one by one. Yeah, of course, man. This is uh, life changing, you know. By Union, we never had the chance to travel the world go for a holiday, it's all about work. So this is more to show appreciation, how I appreciate her for the support that she has given to me. But uh, we'll keep on doing this so we can know each other better. Now tell me, what's it like? Because it's a very rare thing for you to come face to face with someone who can actually yeah. run faster than you. <laughs> <laughs> Going to the beach, being able to ride a horse, it's one of my dreams, and I think also for Violet, I know she loves horses, even if she has a Friday beard, but you know, I can see she's enjoying herself. So for me, it fulfills me being here with her, sharing this, you know, moment. Violet, first time, on, how are you doing there? First time on a horse? Yes, but I'm feeling great, happy, because I love horses. You know, the dream come true, finally. Well done, we're gonna keep this, man. We're gonna keep doing this. Pushing her boundaries at the 2017 World Championships, Casta entered the 1500 meters and won bronze on her first attempt. Casta, you're obviously yep. a supreme athlete, almost superhuman. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it is that separates you from the rest? What, what gives you that extra mile on the track? It seems like a mile ahead, you're always that far ahead. Well, I think uh, as an athlete to be great, uh, it comes through the hard work that you put in, you know, sacrifices that you take, you know, you're always away from the family, your loved ones. I think it's a hard work and dedication. You know? A lot of people don't know that Casta actually literally studied the human body. You studied yeah. the body sciences. So you've got an intricate understanding of how your body works. Yeah, of course. I did study, you know, sports science. I'm about to graduate. And it's all about understanding your body, how your body can operate. When John challenged the champ, he might have forgotten that she's preparing to take the 800 and 1500 meter golds at the Commonwealth Games in Australia. We're done with the warm-ups, so ready. yeah, I'm ready, ready to, to rumble. Race. This is so cool, man. Ready to medal you, so, man. I'm so starstruck right now. This is like... Let me medal you, I'm man. running against Casta Semenya on a beach in Mozambique. I mean, Let's come get on, this started. is amazing. At least I can't do worse than a silver medal. 
<laughs> Let's go do this it. This is what everyone else feels like when they race. You are very intimidating, you know. Oh, man, I'm ready. Okay. I'm more than ready. That's a coach. She's going to down. She was sick now. Okay, go. All right. <laughs> that was close. That was close. <laughs> man, I'm the best. I'm the best. No, I'm man. Best. She does I'm the best. same as what she does to everyone else. She hangs back. <laughs> And then you I, think I, you I can win? That. No, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes! You got me so excited there. I was looking around and you weren't there. That's how I do these things, man. I'm best in this game. Silver medal for me, yes. I'll take it. Silver is the best that you can get. <laughs> Gold is mine. <laughs> All this, always. That was awesome. Awesome, man. I'm ticking on my bucket list items, yeah. you guys. <laughs> From there, we took things easy with the Lake Lunguti hippos in the nearby Maputo Special Reserve. Home to elephants and 400 species of butterfly, it's a safari of all creatures. Kessler, you grew up in the bush, so you're used to beautiful surroundings like this. Yes, uh, you know, this will take me back to those memories. Growing up in the bush without shoes, that's where I learned how to run. So, but yeah, I grew up with my cousins. That's where we used to look after, you know, cows, sheep, and the goats. So yeah, uh, it brings you back to the humble beginnings. Absolutely. Now, yeah. future plans for the lovely couple? Castas just registered a uh, Castas Mania Foundation. Foundation. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to register my NGO very soon, so that we can work under her foundation to help young kids. I love kids with all my heart. So I've realized that. Most of the kids that come in from children's home, they stay there till 18 years, then after 18 years, they don't know where to go. So my mission and vision is to see that we take them to the right school or the right people to teach them so that they can be independent. Well, we know how much you love kids, so when are you going to have your own? Uh, uh, <laughs> that, that's one man needs uh, planning. So with us traveling like this, uh, we need to see it and um, decide when, but probably soon. <laughs> oh, good. Good to hear. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> On the subject of having their own children, Casta would like at least three, and with Violet being a twin, they might get a set of twins themselves. Here's to a healthy, growing family and a few gold medals in between.